Okay, so the technique we're doing today is a technique that we call the SLR technique. And um, we have a patient here that if you take a look has got fairly extensive chemical burns. And um, as a consequence, what we intend to do is instead of just doing normal laser resurfacing <clears throat> with PRP that we do, we're going to use this product which is originally derived from umbilical stem cells but there's no uh, cells within the product itself. And some mesenchymal cells have been made from this um, over a period with technology that we actually can put now after doing the laser resurfacing some measles canyon stem cells on it. Now, <clears throat> we've done some research ourselves which shows that measles canyon stem cells, um, which have been introduced into medicine now for about 10 or 15 years, have been used um, in many ways less successfully than we thought they would be. In 2007, they were put into dying myocardial tissue as a result of myocardial infarction, and they worked very well in that environment. Um, some Jewish scientists in Israel have tried to use it for spinal cord repair after road traffic accidents and spinal cord transaction has been used less successfully. We have used mesenchymal cell cells here in Aylesbury under a red light and believe it or not they change back into fibroblastic tissue. So as a result of certain wounds such as burns where there's no blood and also where you have got vascular occlusion, secondary dermal fillers, where you're going to get extensive dermal scarring. We've successfully used mesenchymal stem cells that are and PRP in combination with red light to convert the MSTs back into um, epidermal tissue. Uh, and this has almost been proven now recently by working out of China as well. We're almost thinking of changing MSCs from mesenchymal stem cells to mesenchymal signal chemical messengers because there's a lot of work being done to show that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to apply the laser and sorry there'll be a bit of noise as the vacuum goes and This patient has already got some um, anesthetic, so it is just kind of some of the standby. So now normally with tissue like this, the fact that we're losing it <coughs> would mean that new fiberglass will be formed. And they will form new epithelial tissue. So that can start as well with the synthetic. But we're going to use the stem cells as an adjunct. I think that's. My nose as well. Your nose. So now we we'll take some of the stem cells and we put it onto the tissue and this is absorbed down into the tissue. Now normally we would use PRP for this technique. And put it back here.
hundred ball, and um, a red light is actually in another room. So we're, but we're hoping here what will be achieved will be new epidermal tissue. Most of the problems that happen during wound healing, where patients end up with scars, are a result of burns and a result of vascular occlusion. And if we notice in both of these situations, we have no blood because a normal cut gives you blood. Blood gives fibronectin. Fibronectin causes epidermal cell migration and when the cells touch each other they stop migrating any further which is really the answer to cancer because with cells that keep growing and can't stop growing that's effectively what cancer is. So fibronectin causes the epidermal cells to grow against each other and then they turn upwards and push off the top of the wound which we know is a scab and everything gets better but this process can't happen during a burn or vascular occlusion because all the tissue is damaged necrotic and dead and then life just takes its own route it's in god's hands and as a consequence people end up with really bad scarring so what we're doing here is we're inducing epidermal cells to grow we can do it with red light mesocamin cell cells we can also do it to an extent with prp and we've had um, five or six very successful cases now with no scarring at all, which we hope will happen to this one. And after the patient um, has had the measles cannabis down cells over the chemical burns, then um, we will trigger the through epidermal migration transition theory, we'll um, hopefully reverse some of the MSTs back into epidermal tissue. This is a process where well. we've learned a lot um, through the biochemistry of cancer cells and epidermal migration. So as a result, we're using the process here back to front. What's in effect? And after the patient um, has had the measles cannabis down cells over the chemical burns. Then okay, so you remember um, the patient we had a few weeks ago that suffered from chemical burns. Um, as you can see now, just at the top of the head, most of these have almost cleared up. And the product that we're using is stem cells from red deers. Calisim and we will be doing again one more course of laser and the stem cells can penetrate down through the wound that has been made by the CO2 fractionalized laser into the dermis to restore wound healing and there's been quite a dramatic result in this since the last time. So the laser is going on now. Huh? And we used to do this with European growth factors, but um, we do this now with stem cells taken from red deer. And we'll review this patient again in about two or three weeks' time and we can do her comparison photographs before and afterwards. But, um, 